At this grocery supply warehouse, workers are here 14 hours a day, six days a week, doing their best to help fill the grocery store shelves. It's been very trying. I've never seen anything like this in the years that I've been in this industry. Associated Grocers of New England's 500,000 square foot facility in Pembroke is working overtime to try and meet consumer demand. And there's a lot of people that are that are buying and storing and hoarding and uh, it's really created some major challenges with inventory and just moving inventory. Industry leaders say they've never seen the demand this high for this long. They say manufacturers have enough raw material to make the products. The lack of items on the shelves is the combination of people overbuying and not enough transportation and labor. Understand that we have plenty of product that's going to be out there and all we have to do is that we have to get it to them and that everyone if they take just their share only and not not any extra there's enough for everybody to go around. AG New England says they're currently hiring and training new employees. Meanwhile local grocery stores like Sully's and Allenstown continue to work with them and other options. We're looking at multiple sources too to find other supply and some restaurant supply people have offered to step up and offer some support as well. So we'll take advantage of that best we can. And they think the demand will eventually slow down once consumers stock up, especially when it comes to toilet paper. I haven't been looking for toilet paper, but I'm glad I'm not. They're all uh, doing what we need to do and Let's overreact. One more note, the New Hampshire Grocers Association is asking everyone to leave their reusable grocery bags at home unless they're clean. If they're dirty, they can carry bacteria. So for now, it's best to go back to the plastic bags. In Pembroke, Jessica Miranda, BMUR News 9.